For more than a hundred years, Timken's focus has been on value creation and solving customer problems by applying our knowledge of friction management and mechanical power transmission all around the world. Our mission is to make the world more productive by improving the efficiency and reliability of the machinery that keeps industry in motion. Timken, stronger by design. All safety rules must be followed on site. All visitors and contractors must first report to the security office when arriving at Timken. All vehicles driving within the premises of Timken must obey all road safety rules. Do not exceed the speed limit on site. Always wear your safety belt and be aware of pedestrians and forklifts. No one under the influence of drugs or alcohol may enter the site. These substances may alter your performance at work. No firearms or ammunition are allowed beyond security. Smoking is not permitted on site, nor inside the buildings, except at designated smoking areas. In the event of an emergency, proceed calmly without running to the assembly point. Familiarize yourself with emergency exit routes, fire alarms and fire equipment. Ensure you wear the correct personal protective equipment as prescribed in each area. Ear protection, safety shoes and eye protection must also be worn. Wear gloves when handling any material that could cause you harm. Be aware of overhead cranes in some areas of the plant. Stay clear of moving cranes and suspended loads. In the event of any accident, call the supervisor and notify the first aider in that area to administer first aid treatment. Call the ambulance in the case of severe accident. Report the accident on the same day and same shift to your supervisor. No unauthorized or unlicensed person may operate a forklift or crane. All trucks on site must be switched off when unoccupied. Do not use any lifting equipment that is not rated to lift a load safely or appears to be damaged. Only trained associates are allowed to use the cranes and lifting equipment. Always use a safety harness when working at heights. Safety harnesses should be anchored to a sound structure or lifeline. Scaffolding must be used to provide a safe working platform when working at heights. Fire extinguishers are placed at strategic points. These will be used by trained associates to extinguish small fires and report on such usages. Do not tamper with firefighting equipment. The fire department should be notified when the fire gets out of control. Good housekeeping is important and the first step towards a safe working environment. The work area is to be kept clean at all times to avoid accidents and to prevent wastage. All areas must be kept free from inflammable materials such as rags, wood, grease or paper. Waste must be correctly disposed of in the relevant bins. 
In the event of a spillage, report this to your supervisor. Trained associates should use the spill kit to dispose of the waste correctly. The unauthorized removal of or damage to company property will not be tolerated. These offenses will lead to disciplinary action. Confined space. Entering confined spaces also requires a permit. Hot work. Any work with a cutting torch, welder or grinder requires a valid permit. Timken complies with the Occupational Health and Safety Act of 1993 and the National Environmental Act. Timken's EHS policy shows the commitment to the health and safety of all who work on these premises. All workers have a joint responsibility with management in ensuring the dangers are brought to the attention of management. Workers must make every effort to work in a safe and healthy manner. Timken. Stronger by design.